One man's dying wish was to be buried next to his spouse. Only problem, their marriage isn't recognized in the state of Ohio. James Obergefell and John Arthur say they fell in love at third sight. And for the past 20 years, 6 months and 11 days, it's been love at every sight. Arthur suffers from ALS, an incurable disease also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. When the Supreme Court issued its landmark summer ruling on gay marriage, he told Obergefell he was ready to say, I do. The Cincinnati couple chose to tie the knot in Maryland, where gay marriage is legal. Family and friends pitched in to pay for a private plane with room for Arthur's stretcher. They were married on the plane as it sat on the tarmac. Arthur's condition is quickly deteriorating, and he wanted to make sure his husband would be listed as a surviving spouse on his death certificate. Without that designation, the couple couldn't get buried alongside each other. But Arthur's family plot stipulates only immediate family can be buried there. And since Ohio doesn't recognize gay marriage, the cemetery doesn't either. The pair filed suit against Ohio, arguing the state was violating their rights to equal protection under the U.S. Constitution. And this week, the men won their case, gaining state recognition of their marriage. While the judge says his ruling only applies to the two men, gay marriage advocates say it's a major step towards forcing Ohio to recognize same-sex marriages from other states. A spokesperson for the civil rights group Lambda Legal tells the Washington Post, this is a particularly tragic and compelling case and it shows to all of us in the country the degree of commitment shown by many gay couples and their desire to take care of each other in the worst time of life that any of us can imagine. Cincinnati, which has a strong record of passing gay rights protections, has designated July 11th, the day the two tied the knot in Maryland, as James Obergefell and John Arthur Day. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.